Yashar, Jasher, 24. And the life of Sarah was 127 years. And Sarah died. And Avraham rose up from before his dead to seek a burial place to bury his woman, Sarah. And he went and spoke to the children of Chet, the inhabitants of the land, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you in your land. Give me a possession of a burial place in your land, that I may bury my dead from before me. And the children of Chet said unto Avraham, Behold, the land is before you. In the choice of our sepulchres, bury your dead, for no man shall withhold from you, rather shall withhold you from burying your dead. And Avraham said unto them, If you are agreeable to this, go and entreat for me to Ephron, the son of Sochar, requesting that he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which is in the end of his field, and I will purchase it of him for whatsoever he desire for it. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Chet, and they went and called for him. And he came before Avraham, and Ephron said unto Avraham, Behold, all you require your servant will do. And Avraham said, No, but I will buy the cave and the field which you have for value, in order that it may be a possession of a burial place forever. And Ephron answered and said, Behold the field, and the cave are before you. Give whatsoever you desire. And Avraham said, Only at full value will I buy it from your hand and from the hands of those that go in at the gate of your city, and from the hand of your seed forever. And Ephron and all his brethren heard this, and Avraham weighed to Ephron, Ephron 400 shekels of silver in the hands of Ephron, and in the hands of all his brethren. And Avraham wrote this transaction, and he wrote it and testified it with four witnesses. And these are the names of the witnesses, Amigal, son of Abishna, the Chiti, Adik Oram, son of Ashnach, the Chivi, Avdan, son of Ahiram, the Gimari, Bahdil, the son of Abudush, rather Abudish, the Sidoni, and Avraham took the Sefer of the purchase and placed it in his treasures. And these are the words that Avraham wrote in the Sefer. Namely, that the cave and the field Avraham bought from Ephron the Chiti and from his seed and from those that go out of his city and from their seed forever are to be, per be a purchase to Avraham and to his seed and to those that go forth from his loins for a possession of a burial place forever. 
and he put a signet to it and testified it and rather with witnesses and the field and the cave that was in it and all that place were made sure unto Avraham and unto his seed after him from the children of Chet behold it is before Mamre in Shevran, which is in the land of Canaan. And after this, Avraham buried his woman, Sarah, there. And that place and all its boundary became to Avraham and unto his seed for a possession of a burial place. And Avraham buried Sarah with pomp as observed at the interment of kings. And she was buried in very fine and beautiful garments. And at her coffin was Shem, his sons Eber and Avimelech, together with Enar, Ashkol, and Mamre, and all the grandees of the land followed her coffin. And the days of Sarah were 127 years, and she died. And Avraham made a great and heavy mourning, and he performed the rites of mourning for seven days. And all the inhabitants of the land comforted Avraham and Yitzchak his son on account of Sarah. And when the days of their mourning passed by, Avraham sent away his son Yitzchak, and he went to the house of Shem and Iber to learn the ways of Yahuwah and his instructions. And Avraham remained there three years. At that time, Avraham rose up with all his servants, and they went and returned homeward to Be'er Sheba. And Avraham and all his servants remained in Be'er Sheba. And at the revolution of the year, Abimelech, king of the Peleshitim, died in that year. He was 193 years old at his death. And Avraham went with his people to the land of Peleshitim. And they comforted the whole household and all his servants. And he turned, rather, he then turned and went home. And it was after the death of Avimelech, that the people of Gerar took Ben Malik, his son, and he was only 12 years old, and they made him lying in the place of his father. And they called his name Avimelech after the name of his father, for thus was it their custom to do in Gerar. And Avimelech reigned instead of Avimelech his father, and he sat upon his throne. And Lot, the son of Haran, also died in those days, in the thirty-ninth year of the life of Yishach, and all the days that Lot lived were one hundred and forty years, and he died. And these are the children of Lot that were born to him by his daughters. The name of the firstborn was Moab, and the name of the second was Ben-Ami. And the two sons of Lot went and took themselves women from the land of Canaan, and they bore children to them. And the children of Moab were Ed, Maon, Tarsus, and Khanvil, four sons. These are the fathers to the children of Moab unto this day. And
and all the families of the children of Lot went to dwell wherever they should light upon, for they were fruitful and increased abundantly. And they went and built themselves cities in the land where they dwelt. And they called the names of the cities which they built after their own names. And Nehor, the son of Terach, brother to Avraham, died in those days in the fortieth year of the life of Yitzhak. And all the days of Nehor were one hundred and seventy-two years. And he died and was buried in Haran. And when Avraham heard that his brother was dead, he grieved sadly, and he mourned over his brother many days. And Avraham called for Eliezer, his head servant, to give him orders concerning his house. And he came and stood before him. And Avraham said to him, Behold, I am old. I do not know the day of my death, for I am advanced in days. Now therefore rise up, go forth, and do not take a woman for my son from this place and from this land, from the daughters of the Cana Anim, amongst whom we dwell. But go to my land and to my birthplace, and take from thence a woman for my son, and Yahuwah Elohim of heaven and earth, who took me from my father's house and brought me to this place and said unto me, To your seed will I give this land for an inheritance forever. He will send his angel before you and prosper your way that you may obtain a woman for my son from my family and from my father's house. And the servant answered his master, Avraham, and said, Behold, I go to your birthplace and to your father's house and take a woman for your son from there. But if the woman be not willing to follow me to this land, shall I take your son back to the land of your birthplace? And Avraham said unto him, Take heed that you bring not my son hither again, for Yahuwah, before whom I have walked, he will send his angel before you and prosper your way. And Eliezer did as Avraham ordered him, and Eliezer swore unto Avraham his master upon this matter. And Eliezer rose up and took ten camels of the camels of his master, and ten men from his master's servants with him. And they rose up and went to Haran, the city of Avraham and Nehor, in order to fetch a woman for Yitzhak, the son of Avraham. And while they were gone, Avraham sent to the house of Shem and Eber, and they brought from thence his son Yitzhak. And Yitzhak came home to his father's house, to Be'er Shiva. While Eliezer and his men came to Haran, and they stopped in the city by the watering place. And he made his camels to kneel down by the water. And they remained there. And Eliezer, Avraham's servant, prayed and said, O Elohim of Avraham, my master, send me, I pray you, good speed this day and show kindness unto my master that you shall appoint this day a woman for my master's son from his family. And Yahuwah hearkened to the voice of Eliezer for the sake of his servant, Avraham, 
and he happened to meet with the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milka, the woman of Nehor, brother to Avraham, and Eliezer came to her house. And Eliezer related to them all his concerns, and that he was Avraham's servant. And they greatly rejoiced at him, and they all blessed Yahuwah, who brought this thing about, and they gave him Rivka, the daughter of Bethuel, for a woman for Yitzhak. And the young woman was of very comely appearance. She was a virgin, and Rivka was ten years old in those days. And Bethuel and Lavan and his children made a feast on that night, and Eliezer and his men came and ate and drank and rejoiced there on that night. And Eliezer rose up in the morning, he and all the men that were with him, and he called to the whole household of Bethuel, saying, Send me away that I may go to my master. And they rose up and sent away Rivka and her nurse Deborah, the daughter of Uts. And they gave her silver and gold, men servants and maid servants, and they blessed her. And they sent Eliezer away with his men. And the servants took Rivka, and he went and returned to his master, to the land of Canaan. And Yitzhak took Rivka, and she became his woman. And he brought her into the tent. And Yitzhak was forty years old when he took Rivka, the daughter of his uncle, Bethuel, for a woman.